But Mark, I want you to break down the Thomas concurrence and why you think that deserves more attention. Yeah, Charlie, I think this could be the sleeper issue in this case. Justice Thomas in his concurrence, so he agreed with the, the, the majority's uh, ruling, um, but, he, but he raised the idea that Jack Smith, the special uh, prosecutor in this case, uh, is unconstitutionally appointed. He was appointed by the attorney general, okay? And as Justice Thomas points out, goes back to our founding, the, you know, the, the king had appointed all these officers to go to, to harass people. So in the Constitution, they said that Congress will, will establish the offices, okay? So there is no special counsel office established by, by, uh, by, by Congress. And so the attorney general appointed a private citizen, Jack Smith, to exercise the powers of a prosecutor. He has no authority to do that. You, you compare that to uh, the U.S. attorney, right, in Delaware. We may think he's doing a terrible job, right, on the Hunter Biden, but he was a U.S attorney or is a U.S. attorney uh, appointed by the president, confirmed by the Senate as, a, as, a, as an officer of the United States. So he got an, a, a sort of an additional responsibility to, to, to look into the Hunter Biden stuff here. With the Jack Smith case, with the Jack Smith appointment, there is no office that was created. He was holding no office when he was appointed. And so the attorney general does not have the power, does not have the power to, um, to, to appoint him. There are these Department of Justice regulations that set this office up, but it's unconstitutional. OK, and Justice Thomas raises this. Now, why is this important? OK, because it was a concurrence. It wasn't raised um, at, the, at the below at the Supreme Court. Um, my law firm is the firm that filed. Uh, I'm not involved with it, but some of my colleagues filed a brief. Uh, an amicus brief at, at the Supreme Court. That is what Justice Thomas uh, discussed in his concurrence. Right now, though, running alongside it is the Mar-a-Lago case down in Florida, and that case is be before Judge Cannon. Judge Cannon, we filed that brief down at the district court in Mika's brief. Judge Cannon ordered um, um, oral argument on that two Fridays ago to argue this exact issue as to whether Jack Smith is constitutionally appointed. The fact that Justice Thomas has come out with this concurrence uh, right now, when this other case is down in, in, in the district court, Judge Cannon uh, has it before her, but she could look and see, here's one, our greatest Supreme Court justice issuing this decision of this concurrence that says Jack Smith is not, not, not constitutionally appointed. What does that mean? Every single thing he's done is invalid. Every indictment, every invest, every every part of his investigation is, is fatally flawed. Uh, so, that is uh, that's a pretty big deal in terms of what's coming out of this case. Um, and so, you know, Judge Cannon had the oral argument. We're waiting for her to rule. But the fact that Justice Thomas devoted his concurrence to it was it was pretty amazing. Is, is that also go back to Mueller and these other special counsels or were they U.S. attorneys that were confirmed or is this just a special carve out? Yeah. No, that, that's exactly right. And you have to be you, you like like you could be a U.S. attorney um, uh, that, that had already gone through the process and get added to your responsibility. But right. If you're a private citizen that hasn't been there is no um, special counsel office that was established by Congress. So that that would be a problem, too. Um, this came out of the independent counsel statute. Right. Which they allowed to which was a, a, a congressionally authorized statute unconstitutional because judges appointed those prosecutors. But when that lapsed. And the DOJ, I think, under Reno, uh, came up with this, these regulations for a special counsel. It's always been fatally flawed. Nobody's challenged it. And again, with this, what I'll consider this, this more originalist court, looking at these types of structural, you know, um, setups and not, not violating them. Uh, this is an important thing. You know, the, the, the founders wrote into our Constitution that Congress is the one who establishes these offices. And, and you just can't willy nilly make up a new officer to go prosecute anybody, let alone the president of the United States. So